Okay, so here's the next video in our series about the Suzuki philosophy method for parent education. We're talking about standard repertoire and games. Children do not practice, practice exercises to learn to talk, but use language for its natural purpose of communication and self-expression. Pieces in the Suzuki repertoire are designed to present technical problems to be learned in the context of music rather than through dry technical exercises. So we keep it whole. Um, so we're teaching a specific technique through the piece rather than just saying do this a thousand times. I'm not going to tell you why. We're not going to make it enjoyable. Um, for example, the twinkles. We're, we use the twinkle variations, the different rhythms in the twinkles to teach the rhythms, the rhythmic components that will be found throughout the first four Suzuki books, okay? And we're doing it in a fun way, in a song that most children understand, know, can sing before they even begin the lessons. Every, I'm pretty sure everybody in our culture knows Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So um, we wrap that up in, uh, in a song. Um, instead of just here is, you know, like doing lines on a chalkboard, I guess is the equivalent of just repeating things, you know, dry technical exercises. Uh, so it's immersive. Um, the Suzuki method is an immersive um, music environment way to uh, teach children. Um, and, and we try to make it fun in that way, enjoyable, rather than, again, the technical exercises. Uh, and as far as the standard repertoire, so we begin at the pre-twinkle stage and there are um, 10 volumes, 10 books in the Suzuki method. And the last two books are two full violin concertos, Mozart A and D, um, which are standard literature in violin repertoire, meaning that if you were to seriously study violin at the college or university level, you would be expected to study those, have studied those before you got there, um, or study them when you're there. Um, it's just, you know, something that you're expected to know as being a violinist or those two concertos. And that is where we end um, the, the repertoire in Suzuki. But along the way, there are many, many pieces that are a part of the standard um, repertoire in uh, violin playing. I guess the best way that I could equate that is, you know, with your job or your degree, um, for example, a doctor is expected to know anatomy. So a, a professional violinist is expected to know Mozart concertos. So, all right, so that would be the standard repertoire in games. Oh, um, standard repertoire also helps with group class. So everybody is learning the same pieces, which um, cultivates a sense of, again, community inclusion because everybody knows that piece and then uh, you learn it and also share in that joy by playing it with everyone else. It makes it very easy to put group classes together versus um, traditional lessons. A teacher may use several different kinds of books and just choose which book which which goes best with which student. So this student may prefer the pretty pictures in this book versus this one doesn't really like pictures. So those two students have are not even playing the same pieces. So it's very hard to get them together to play. Um, in that case, one child is going to have to learn the other uh, piece that they don't know, and um, it can be kind of discouraging waiting for that to, to kind of even out. But in the Suzuki method with the standard repertoire, everybody can play something together, um, even if it's a group of all very advanced children, because we've done all the repetition, they still remember how to play the pre-twinkle songs, if it's like... 10 advanced kids and one little pre-twinkler. We will play all the pre-twinkle songs just so that the pre-twinkler can be included. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, yeah, so um, the last little bit that you'll see on the page if you're following along on the website is reading. This is recommended reading. Um, parents are encouraged to read Dr. Suzuki, Dr. Suzuki's books and other books on the philosophy. So he has several books, um, Nurtured by Love, Ability, Development from Age Zero, To Learn with Love, A Companion for Suzuki Parents. That's not a Dr. Suzuki book. Um, it's about the method. I think that was, is that William Starr who wrote that? I'm not sure. 
I uh, can't remember off the top of my head, um, A Suzuki Parent's Diary or How, How I Survived My First 10,000 Twinkles. Um, I, on the website, I have links to those specific books if you want to check them out. So that would be it for our videos on the basics of the Suzuki philosophy. Like I said, I'll make some more videos on other um, Japanese philosophy and concepts, which kind of is how we got these different pillars on um, the wabi-sabi, the kaizen, and the uh, shuhari approach to learning. So, all right guys, take care. I hope this was informative and you now better understand what we're doing in the Suzuki method. Thanks for watching.